Okay, this is my workspace for my new project, the Britain Norman Islander. Now we got these plans off of uh, OuterZone.com, and um, I went to Kinko's and I blew them up um, five times their size. And this is the wing. Um, with the wing tips, it's going to be 46 inch wingspan, and I'm going to do it uh, completely built up, uh, no uh, no kit, no anything, just the plans, and I bought uh, I bought all the balsa today. Um, so this is how I'm going to lay it out rather crude with the duct tape but it works so yeah now I'm gonna cut to me building all the ribs from these two stencils that I made okay this is the second step there are two different ribs that the plan calls for one requires 20 and the other requires 10 what I did in this case is I cut both of them out and I CA, like I coated the, the wood, coated the plywood with CA. I laid the laid the um the rib on top of it, and once that was done I cut the exact shape of the rib and that gave me a really good um template to uh, lay out all of my other ribs, twenty of these and ten of these. Now how I would do that after I do this, I'm gonna speed up the video and I'm gonna trace out all of these right now. So, here we go. It calls for 10, but I've already done four of them, as you can see right here, so, um, yeah. The next step is to label them, so that was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, now, we go over to my scroll saw. Alright. These are all 30 formers. Um, I assume that the um, the secondary formers are going to be in the center for the, the room for the, the plywood spar. So I have the 10 out of the 20 on the left side, the middle 10 for the secondary, and um, the remaining uh, 10 for the primary ribs on the outside, which are all going to fit into this wing plan. which. In, in the end will end up being uh, 46 inches so now I have to lay everything out and make sure everything fits here is the wing layout plan um, I have the leading edge and the trailing edge uh, laid out on the plan and taped down I used a special method here to join the two because um, one spar wasn't long enough I cut at a 45 degree angle on both sides and I joined them together with CA on both uh, both the leading edge, leading edge and the trailing edge, and that just gives it overall just more th more strength. Um, so now I guess I just place the ribs in place. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, this is mostly completed. All the ribs are in place and glued, and the spars have been glued in place as well on the underside. Now I have cut the two winglets, um, 
of the 2 by one inch balsa, and I have to shape them to the cold size, which is that, and then I have to sand them. So, let's see, the, uh, the booms go right here, and I think, oh no, right there, and right there. So to the landing gear, non-retractable, and this is going to be a, um, a balsa sheet where the uh, flap servos and any of the own servos go. Now I'm going to get some footage of me cutting and sanding these winglets and gluing them in place, so I'll cut to that. This is the winglet block. The lines on here are the, uh, the cuts I do have to make. Um, this is the stencil for the stages of the, uh, the wing. So about halfway through, it's going to look like a triangle, and then it's going to start to curve, and then it's going to become, uh, become a flat thing near the end, right there. So my first cut is going to go from here and along this top line, and then my next cut is going to be around this, and my final cut is going to be the angle, which is this. And then after the, my straight cuts, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and trim in the curve right here, and then eventually to the flat on the top side. So that's my plan, and we'll see how it works out. So let's do that. So far on this winglet, I've made two cuts. The first one is the, um, the look on the side, not the actual airflow shape, but... Uh, the way it looks on the end, and the contour shape. The next cut I have to make is this angle cut, which uh, gives the, um, the actual winglet the underside look that it has. So I'm going to make that cut now. All right, at this point in the wing build of the Britain Norman Islander, um, the wing is done. Oh, well, at least for the, the time being. Um, I've left the rest to do, such as um, mounting the control horns and uh, the servos, and of course covering for after I'm done assembling the rest of the plane, so um, fitment, stuff like that will be easier to put together and get configured and all that stuff, so I left that out. Um, originally, I actually kind of screwed up. Um, I used, I actually made the wrong winglets. I made simple ones, uh, let's see if I have them, yeah, right here. I made these. And they were just simple ones, they're, they're the ones I know how to use, all you have to do is just use the scroll saw and cut this and then cut the, uh, around there and then you sand it down and you get... This is the first cut. Um, it's just a simple cut of the, uh, of the airfoil of the wing. Now what I have to do is I have to cut on that line, and that'll give me the angle. And then I can start sh- Uh oh, I did it wrong. Damn it. Like that. But instead of that, like I said in the last clip, um, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to make an inner- I'm not sure what you call this, I'm sure there's a name for it, but, uh, you have to make this cut here. This slopish whatever the thing, and then um, the uh, the plans actually called for one that was in this shape, so you have you know, that straight outer edge. This one actually has one sloped out near the the trailing edge, just because that is more scale. Um, I have I have seen Britain Norman Islanders with a uh, flat flat tr um, fl flat tips, but uh, this style with the flared out winglet at the end right there is a little bit more common and to any it might just look more normal to anyone who has seen them before um, because that's really one of the most iconic things about them um, so what I did is I um, I cut a re uh, the first cut I made was um, basically looked like this from the block except at near the end it was straight out that way I could allow for this to happen. And then the next cut was this one around there. And then the final cut on the scroll saw was the, the angle cut right there. And uh, once that was done, I glued it in place and I took my uh, 
my handy dandy uh, cutaway blade or breakaway blade, and I trimmed uh, this down because originally it was a solid piece of block all the way out there, and that's what I did on both sides over there, and uh, now it's done. So now I guess I start on the fuselage plan, which is there, and I'm excited for that. But that will be in the next video. So until then, you won't see it. So, yeah.